In this week's episode, Ethiopia burns its ivory stockpile. Could possums be the key to preventing snake bite deaths? A polar bear visits an offshore oil rig, and scientists unravel the secrets of velvet worm slime. Starting in Ethiopia, where the country's entire 6.1 ton ivory stockpile has been burned. The ivory was stored after seizures from poachers and traders over a 20 year period. In the last three decades, Ethiopia has lost over 90% of its elephants. Off to the states where researchers from San Jose have found a new potential source of life-saving anti-venom, America's favorite, the possum. These so-called pests might be known for being ugly trash raiders, but they carry a special peptide that can neutralize deadly snake bites. From possums in the U.S. to possums down under. Australian Agriculture Minister Barnaby Joyce is under fire this week for ensuring his department uses reflex paper, a brand linked with the destruction of the Leadbeater possum's forest habitat. Named for its club-like tail, the tiny possum is Victoria's emblem animal. Speaking of being under fire, because velvet worms don't see well in the dark, they've evolved an ingenious way of catching their prey, slime cannons. A new study reports that the worm's goose shooters aren't muscle-powered, rather they work like an unattended garden hose. The fluid itself is what causes the tubes to wriggle. Sticking with bodily functions, marine biologists from Harvard and Vermont universities have found that whale feces plays an important role in moving nitrogen in the ocean. Their analysis of 16 billowy clouds suggests that every year whales could be responsible for dumping 23,000 metric tons of nitrogen into the Gulf of Maine alone, which is great for plankton. In more whale news, dozens of volunteers and wildlife officials in Western Australia have been racing against the clock to save a pod of long-finned pilot whales that stranded early Monday. Six whales were successfully herded out to sea, but despite rescue efforts, 12 animals were confirmed dead on sight. Biologists in Canada are working to flesh out the kinks in a plan to build clean energy turbines off the coast of British Columbia. Johnson Strait's powerful currents could be great for spinning power turbines, but the area is a critical habitat for northern resident killer whales, listed as endangered by the Canadian government. Earth Hour 2015 will be held this week. Everyone is encouraged to join together to turn off non-essential lights on Saturday between 8.30 and 9.30 p.m. in your local time zone. The movement is a symbol of commitment to protecting our planet and resources. Sharks off New Orleans are also joining up this week. A video of a massive school of sharks moving towards NOLA has blown up on the internet, but what it shows is actually nothing out of the ordinary. Just a migration of black tip and spinner sharks. We're wrapping up with a four-legged visitor to Canada's Hibernia oil rig, which is 315 miles off the coast of Newfoundland. The polar bear was swimming far from any sea ice and attempted to climb aboard the base. That's it for the week, but don't forget to celebrate Earth Hour on Saturday by turning out all your non-essential lights between 8 and 9.30 p.m. Until next time, see you on the website.